Hello Benjamin, uh, this will be some brief video feedback for you on 1.3, which was the uh, photo manipulation exercise from last week. I wanted to welcome you to GRA 2.20. Um, I thought you might be interested in seeing what um, your submission looked like on my end, uh, Ben. And um, I see that you prefer Ben here, both in your bio and on your submission. Uh, so I just downloaded it. The size of it gives me a hint of what I might expect. So I see that it's 152 megabytes, um, and I, that sounds reasonable to me. I would expect to see two large, uh, 8.5 by 11 or larger, 300 dpi files. So even judging from the size of your file, um, I can see that it's, it's promising that you've met the guidelines of the project. Now, the flip side, of course, of large file size is that it takes a while to download. So I'll wait till it finishes, and then I'll come back to it. Okay, so I've downloaded it and opened it up. I see that you've got the uh, PDF with the before and after side by side. Uh, nice job. And uh, it's a light touch you have. You know, the, the beginning photographs, I'm assuming this is the before, this is the before. The beginning photographs were pretty um, saturated. And it looks like you made a few adjustments, maybe increase the saturation a little bit. I'll take a look on the um, Photoshop files. And pretty much the same here, too. Subtle changes, um, just maybe slightly more saturated. Or am I imagining things? All right, so let me see. Uh, insufficient data for an image. Okay. I better empty my trash. I'll do that after I watch yours. You know, I download all these files, and you know they're they're quite large, um, and I am exhausting my memory, so I need to fix that. You know, uh, memory storage, file size, these are issues that designers grapple with all the time. Um, here is your sunset photograph, and I'm not sure why these eyes are in red. Did you color code them? I've never seen that. That's pretty cool. But this is, anyway, this is exactly what um, was called for in the assignment, and that is using non-destructive image editing. And I can turn these layers on or off at will, uh, and I haven't damaged deleted pixels or anything to the original. Uh, great job. That's the idea. The other thing I wanted to take a look at um, get rid of this, was um, image size. And so I'm, I'm up here. I'm in Photoshop, by the way. Um, Image, image size, I'll get this dialog box. Okay, um, I see your images are about 7.5 by 11.5. Uh, that's good, and they're 300 dpi. I mean, there's some latitude. I wouldn't get too much bigger uh, than this, but, um, you know, they're, they're a good size. Now, remember that the ad is vertical, vertically oriented. So if you did use this as a background image, you'd have to crop it, part of it, and at that point it probably wouldn't be um, the right resolution. I hope that makes sense. I'm going to leave it here um, before this thing spools through, and uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or need assistance.